Infamous 2 takes place in New Marais, which is kind of a Southern American city, a little bit like, uh, it's our take on New Orleans. Um, it's not exactly New Orleans, but it's that same kind of city surrounded by swamp. Um, and hot and muggy and historical and old. And so we showed some new parts of uh, New Marais today. We showed some of the swamp areas and some of the uh, old cathedral district. One of the reasons we chose New Marais in kind of a southern old historical city is that it's kind of maybe more made out of wood and a little more fragile. And so there's a lot more kind of opportunity for destruction. And the, the modeling team making the city has created a lot more breakable items and things that can kind of be messed with and just flying stuff everywhere when Cole gets uses some of his powers. In addition to kind of being a more destructible city is a much more kind of varied city in the shape of the buildings. Like in, in Empire City, all the buildings had flat rooftops. Well, that's not true in New Marais. There's you know, kind of French buildings and Italian buildings, even some German design. And so it makes for a really varied parkour experience. We wanted parkour to kind of be at the next level in Infamous 2. And so um, uh, the, the ways that Cole can get around the city climbing um, are very, very, the, the city's kind of more dense and, and more detailed. Plus there's more kind of power lines um, that are running on the side of buildings or vertical ones are things that Cole can use to kind of shoot himself and navigate through the world much more quickly and, and cover more ground quickly. So we wanted the, the parkour experience to be kind of that much better than Infamous 2. And both the design of New Marais plus some of the new parkour elements that we're adding kind of combined to kind of make it really cool to navigate around the city. We also showed some new powers that Cole has. He has a kinetic pulse, uh, which means he can pick up cars and other large objects and kind of throw them around. That's a good thing to have because uh, Cole also uh, met a new enemy today, which was um, the Ravager, uh, who's one of the corrupted. They're a, a group of beings that have come out of the swamp and are actually attacking New Marais. And uh, they're not exactly human. And uh, the Ravager came out and he can like dig underground and kind of sh shoot spores at Cole. Um, and so Cole, you know, can use that, the, his new, um, the new power we showed today was a good against the Ravager. There's this power called the Ionic Vortex, which is shown at E3, kind of a tornado of electricity. And it's super awesome, like kind of letting it loose on all the verandas of the neighborhood that's kind of like the French Quarter, because everything just goes flying everywhere. Um, so we knew that there, we wanted to have coal to be very, very powerful. And part of that is to be able to create a lot of destruction. We've worked um, really closely with Sony's motion capture studio in San Diego. And they've been great about helping us to find what works for motion capture and what doesn't. We've already captured cutscenes that we've been showing um, that are like the scene that we're showing here at Gamescom where Cole lands on the car that's driving Bertrand. That whole session was all motion captured and, you, and it feels much more realistic. It's something that we've never done as a studio until Infamous 2 and uh, we were a little frightened going in, but uh, it's turned out to be really great. And you know, to, to be able to make much more engaging, um, both cutscenes and regular animations for, for Cole and the different characters in the game, walking around or battles. Um, we're using it in, in a lot of very isolated spots, um, but it's, it's really, really great to use. But some shit never changes. Infamous 2 is coming out exclusively on the PlayStation 3 in 2011. Well, maybe some things.